Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Season 2 Medium Carnivorous Dinosaurs. Joan Struthiomimus. Speed as weapon. Scientific name Struthiomimus. Period Late Cretaceous. Fossils found in Canada, North America. Description Struthiomimus looked like an ostrich. This feathered dinosaur was about 4 meters long and could run fast. The dinosaur kingdom had Gallimimus, chicken like dinosaurs, Ornithomimus, bird like dinosaurs, and Dromisiomimus, emu like dinosaurs. There were many of them. Why? Because they all came from the Ornithomimosauria clade, where the name means bird like. This name implies that every member was somewhat related to birds. They had feathers, long hind legs, and fast running, all of which were features of birds. Joan Destruthiomimus came from this group. Joan was four meters long, had a slim body and a small head. Its long neck looked that of an ostrich, but its forelimbs were too long for one. Three sharp claws grew on each forelimb. The long and stiff tail was about half the length of its body, confirming that it was a reptile, not a bird. Therefore, although its name suggests that it looked like an ostrich and could run fast and short distance, it was still less of a runner than an ostrich. An ostrich can jump up to 2.5 meters in the air, cover 8 meters with a single stride, and sprint at 70 kilometers per hour. Joan Destrathiomimus, on the other hand, could run at almost about 60 kilometers per hour. Joan de Strathiomimus lived in Lake Cretaceous in today's Canada. The local climate was warm with distinct dry and wet seasons, ideal for dinosaurs. The local inhabitants included the Yatmontosaurus, a Hantrosaur, Euplocephalus, an Ankylosaur, Montanoceratops, a Ceratopsid, Stegosaurus, a Pachycephalosaur, Desplatosaurus, a Tyrannosaur, and of course Joan and his stripe. Because many dinosaurs of different species lived in the same place, competition was fierce. During the long dry season, carbivorous dinosaurs starved and died, and the lack of prey in turn killed carnivorous dinosaurs. A large number of dinosaurs did not make it through the season. The wet season would wash their bodies into rivers and bury them in the riverbed. That's why people today could find a lot of fossils there. When the wet season came, plants flourished and many herbivorous dinosaurs regained health and vitality. But for Joan, the competition for survival remained tough. It always needed to be looking out for bigger predators and run away like an ostrich when danger approached. The good thing was that it seldom stumbled when running on rut roads. Its dip tail helped it balance and steer, while the claws on its feet kept it firmly on the ground.